Biden's recent U.S. Supreme Court nominee represents a seemingly illogical case of sex and racial discrimination in the name of gender equality and racial justice. Church Militant's William Mahoney breaks down this apparent contradiction. Democrats today believe in racial discrimination. They're, they're committed to it as a political proposition. U.S. Senator Ted Cruz highlighted the racial discrimination underpinning Biden's vow to pick only a black woman for SCOTUS. Biden nominated Katanji Brown Jackson, a radical left-wing extremist applauded by the nation's largest abortion chain and gun control groups. The nomination is an attempt to seat another progressive judicial activist, while the optics of the nomination bolster the narrative Democrats are combating so-called systemic racism. But systemic racism was not on Biden's mind in 1991, when as a senator, he led the Judiciary Committee that indulged a fictitious sexual harassment smear campaign against then SCOTUS nominee Clarence Thomas. This dirt was searched for by staffers of members of this committee, was then leaked to the media, and this committee and this body validated it. And thanks largely to Senator Biden, SCOTUS nomination hearings have gone from civil to savage. In fact, there's even a word for what conservative nominees must endure now during Senate confirmation hearings, borking. The word refers to maltreatment of Ronald Reagan's 1987 nominee, Robert Bork, over whose confirmation hearing Senator Biden presided as head of the Judiciary Committee. In all your short life, have you come up with any other way to protect a married couple under the Constitution against an action by a government telling them what they can or cannot do about birth control in their bedroom? No. Is there any constitutional right anywhere in the Constitution? While Biden pretends to combat racism, his SCOTUS nominee has less to do with gender or race, but everything to do with ideology. William Mahoney, Church Militant Evening News, Detroit. Conservatives argue a Justice Kentaji Brown Jackson, a pro-abort, would rubber stamp every radical left leftist agenda that comes before the highest court in the land.